and hello everyone, how are you all doing? Uh, welcome to today's class, which is called Chris's Pain Nightmare. Now your muscles work as pairs, and you get some great benefits from your training when you work them as such. Uh, today's class is seven rounds of four exercises, 45 seconds work, 15 rest, and you're gonna need a pair of dumbbells, something heavy if possible, or as heavy as you can go. Uh, also something that's elevated, like a step, or something that's uh, high up the floor. Let's get ourselves ready, here we go. Uh, round one is biceps, triceps. We're gonna go into bicep curl pulse, and tricep skull crushers, here we go. Nice and gently, first round of the day, let's get ourselves open up. We're gonna go for two curls, two pulses. So nice and gently, fingers to shoulders, nice and high, nice and low. There's your two curls on the two pulses. Up on those arms, 90 degrees, a couple of centimeters on those two pulses. And let's keep that cycle going, off we go. Drop it, one, two, Pull those muscles up the blades. Let's keep it going. Nice, easy one to work ourselves up. Yes, here we go. And breathe, let's, breathe. let's take it out the floor. Pick one arm for this one. Fingers and thumb. All you want to do, bring that twice, bring that dumbbell above your head. And we're going to pivot the elbow and nice and gently we're going to drop that dumbbell to the opposite ear. Making sure we're activating those triceps at the same time. Nice and low, nice and high. Slow and controlled for me. Be careful with this one. Nice and close to your face. We don't want no accidents. All weight bearing today, guys. Let's keep it going. Isolate those muscles. Last bit. Good. Let's go straight back up. One more of each. Opposite side for the, for the tricep extension. Back to those curl pulses. Nice and controlled. You've got it. Off we go. Keep those elbows nice and tight. And pulse. One, two. Straight back in. Now we're having fun. Good. Finish it. And we good. Let's take it back down. And along. Same again. Pivot the elbow. Opposite you. Let's make them work. This class is all about making those muscles work. Just take a nice and slow control for me. Good, should we feel those triceps right about now? And good, that's about mine. We're going to round two, we're going for uh, hamstrings and quads, we've got single leg deadlift and squat squat pulse, here we go. So we have one dumbbell for this one, I'm going to pick my left leg to start, single leg deadlift, I'm just going to bring the front half of the body to the floor and extend the other arm, and extend the other leg, nice and low, nice and high. Use the wall if you need to balance. It's nice and controlled. If you need to go slower, take your time. 
Plant that foot. Good. Open up the back of that leg. Lovely step. Last one. Nice and let's get that chest out. Our leg should be coming up behind you. And breathe 50 seconds. Tempo is going to be anywhere in your body. As long as you're holding it, I'm happy. Two squats, two pulses. Keep that cycle going. Take a deep one. Off we go. Once we're down, one, two, and drive. Good. Back we go again. Pulse. Good. Two squat, two pulse. Let's keep going. Lovely step. Let's keep working. Sides, same again, flat that foot, bring that chest down, opposite heel. We've got it. Let's do it. Let's use that wall. Take your time for me. Get that down nice and low. Oh, almost. Last one. Breathe. Good. We go again. Two squat, two pulse. Let's keep it going. Those muscle pairs, a nightmare. Let's do it. Off we go. Two pulse. Two squats. Yes. Drive those legs. Breathe your step. I think guys, the gas is going to round three. We should go lower back and core. We've got one arm row and a roll up crunch. Here we go. Let's grab one dumbbell. Nice and gently, shoulders over wrists, and nice and low. We're gonna bring those elbows right past our body, lower half. Work that lower core, that lower back. Here we go. Nice big squeeze. Get those elbows up nice and high. Dumbbells down, nice and low. Brush past that body, those elbows, keep them nice and tight. Straight down for the roll up crunch, let's keep it going. Let's keep that one there, let's take it down to the floor. Roll up crunch, all you want to do, straighten that body, and we keep those legs nice and flat to the floor. We're going to roll ourselves all the way up. Those arms out in front at all times. Off we go. Nice and simple, that's it. And if you do want to do this one, your adaption is to drop those arms, lift those heels on the floor. If you can, stay with me. 
working those pairs today. Tend to isolate their muscles too much or overtrain a certain part of the body. Today's class, using everything. Again, catch your knee, drop the shoulder over your wrist. Don't forget we're looking for that dumbbell to be nice and close to the body. Brushing past that lower back, off we go. A little rotation if you want to, a bit more range. I'm going to concentrate on squeezing that dumbbell as it comes up, making that lower back work. How are you feeling at home? Should be getting home right about now. Nice big lift. Come on, keep going. And we get up for that last call. You know what to do. Nice straight arms, nice straight legs. Still going. One more out. Come your way. Almost there. And good. Right, guys, here we're going to round four. We've got upper back chest we've got a double lion row and a double lion chest press here we go let's go to our elevation we're going to take that chest down in front bring those dumbbells down nice and low nice and high same again you squeeze those elbows nice and tight Nice and high, nice and close. Let's get that upper part of the body in the back motivated. Let's get it working. Imagine those elbows are coming up past the chest. Nice and high, good. Nice, big squeeze, as big as you can. Give the shoulder blades together. Let's flip ourselves straight over. Lightning chest press. And for this one, we're going to put your together. In line with your chest. Off we go, nice and easy. We're going to press. Now the elbows are nice and tight for lots of these exercises today. Let's keep it going. Pressing them together, squeezing those dumbbells. Nice open palm. Let's get those chest muscles working. Add a little bit of pressure, squeeze it together. You'll feel that chest activate. Nice and low, nice and high. Try to keep it in line with the chest. Centimeters you're there, it doesn't matter too much as long as you're around that general area. Good. Sit back in. Try to make sure that body is leaning forward. Okay, at the floor directly down in front. I'm going to make sure we're done about the tire within the upper, upper back. Good, nice, please squeeze. I'm going to make it hard down a little pause. I'm going to make it easier. Take your time. 
We're not in a rush. Put your knees on the step. We'll make you with the upper back rather than use your back. Good. Keep those elbows tucked in. Good. Almost there. You know what to do. Let's take it down. Chest press. Let's go set. On that chest. Ready for the beat. Here we go. And squeeze. Elbows in. Let's do it. Okay, you can swap these dumbbells, but I wanted to aim to go as heavy as you can today. There's not much cardio in this class today. Looking for muscle activation instead. round five which is lats and delts we're gonna go for dumbbell flies and a slow and fast shoulder press let's do it all right let's grab those dumbbells Feet together spike those bumps nice big fly spend those elbows let's open those wings good slightly forward show me those feathers off we go Really important to keep that back straight, which is why we set that back first. Let's get those elbows up. Okay, we're having fun. Good, move my shoulder press, I'm taking myself down. Just stand up if you want to. Dumbbells on those shoulders. Elbows nice and tight. And for this one, we're gonna press fast. And drop slow. As soon as the dumbbell touch your shoulders, straight back up, nice and fast. Getting our speed. Going down to the right deep. Good strength and power. So, uh, come on, keep it going. Feel it. Fifteen seconds. Back in one more inch. We get set that back. Let's do it. Yes, at home. Come on. I know you still want to keep going. Let's go. Beautiful birds, show them those wings. Elbows. Good. 45 seconds, rest is coming. Speed play. Off we go fast, then slow. You be feeling this? Can 
go slow, eh? Can you go faster? Yes, we can. One more, come on, push. Breathe. Hey y'all, how are we doing? Hope we're not too tired yet, because we've still got three rounds to go. Uh, we're going to take into abductor adductors, which is the inside and outside your legs. Uh, so for this one, um, I've got something that I'm going to put between my legs. You can use a ball, anything, it can be weighted, light, whatever you want. I'm going to use a foam roller. Let's get ourselves ready. So for this one, we're going to take ourselves to the wall. Take ourselves into a squat hole position. And we're going to place your object between your legs. And we just squeeze them together as you're down. You should be feeling the size of those legs for this one. Constant pressure on that object. Let's activate them. Good. You need to breathe. Play time. You can relax. <laughs> Keep your shoulders against the wall. Keep your hips in line as always. Let's put pressure, let's keep it going. Good, 45 seconds, not too bad. Squeeze, press the knees together. And slowly. Let's take them down for a second. Into the inside of those legs, into the outside. Now we're going to go uh, side squats. Reverse the uh, uh, pressure outside those legs. Nice deep breath, take a step to our side. Step, sweep that floor, switch your legs and key, keep that chest step. Transfer that weight off, Here we go. Step, should be a nice big U shape. Nice big step, as far as you can. Let's work those legs, come on. Good. Bigger steps, bigger sweeps. You got it. Chest up, please. Thank you. Good. Back we go. You know what to do. Nice deep breath. Set. Here we go. Squeeze, press it nice and hard. Add some tension. Feel those legs. Activate the muscles today. We've got it. Nice and gently. Keep that pressure on. Squeeze. Seconds, just reapply the pressure, keep those legs working. All right, good. Oh, we've got them. Four to go. Let's be transfers of that weight. Chest up, keep those palms. Off we go. Nice and low. Got it. It's just another day. Let's finish it off. All the way down. Drive those hips down. Key is in those hips. Those hips should be the one to swing. Good. And here we go into round seven. Uh, this pair is not a pair that I worked together, just the two that we haven't done yet. So we're going to go for calves and glutes. Uh, elevated calf raise into a nice deep goblet squat in the dumbbell. Here we go. So 
You've got yourself something elevated, a step. Feet shoulder width. Feet halfway up on. And gently drive by those toes. And sink those heels. As low as you can, high as you can. Yeah, you used to get that range. Make those calves work as big as you can. Don't forget that pose on the top. Good. Come got a step to money. Just do it on the floor and on the even surface, that's fine. Steps. We're keeping that pressure on. Those calves have got to work because those feet are unbalanced. Good. Find some space. In fact, we'll go on to our step for this one. Dump down nice and close. Turn your toes up just slightly. And I want you to concentrate on getting down really deep for this one. As low as you can, as you come to the gap. Squeeze on the return, let's go. Nice wide stance. Show me. Deal the elbows inside your legs, bring them down, close as you can. Let's get them deep. Let's switch back. Let's go back to two. So we're going to have a little play in a few positions. You can go now, you can go wide. I'm just going to go normal for this. Nice, if we throw that in that weight. So there's a bit more pressure on those calves. I want you to concentrate on getting those toes and driving them as high as you can. Just lengthen and shorten that muscle. Good. Slightly, more free comfortable for you. Off we go, low. Drive. Guys, here we go with today's finisher. We haven't used two muscles yet. We haven't used our lungs, or we haven't used the most important one, our brains. We're going to take it into leather locusts and lunge top kicks. Let's finish this off. Last four minutes. Let's take ourselves out of the floor for this one. Nice and flat. Let's get our chest up. Leather locusts to start. Show me some shapes. T Y W C O. Off we go. Don't know what that spells. That's just the letter locus. Here we go. T Y W C O. Keep my chest up. Let's work. Let's think about it. T Y W C O. Let's keep it going. Y W C O. Keep that chest up. T Y W C O. Go in. C 
and go. Let's bring ourselves up. Bunch top kick. And we're going the right leg first. The choice is yours. So nice and gently. First lunge, tap the floor. Nice big kick. Off we go. Lunge, tap, kick. Nice and low, nice and high. Let's get those heart rates up. Let's get us thinking about it. Last push of the day, come on. Yes, you can, keep going, keep going. Two more each. Let's take it down. Get that low guest. Nice deep breath. If you do know what this spells, leave a comment down below. <laughs> Let me know. Off we go. T Y W C O. And again. Okay. T Y W C O Good. Last one. Just a size on those lift up kicks. Good side. <laughs> Let's finish this off. Nice tap. Okay, good. Nice and low. Get those hips down. Try use those feet. Off we go. Low as you can. High as you can. Easy finisher today. <sighs> yes, you can almost, almost come on. Breathe. Okay, everyone, well done. We could try a little bit. Of, I'm just kidding. We're done for today. I hope you've enjoyed Chris's Pay Nightmare. Uh, let me know where you're going in the comments below. Uh, let me know if you've got any uh, other alternatives you think I could use for future videos. Take care of yourselves. See you next time.